Hi, it's Dwyer. Today is May the 25th, 2018. Just some commentary here. You know, boxing is more than a sport. It is a community. And some of the members of that community are heroes. Guys who, without pay, are trying to get peace of mind by doing the right thing, by correcting and challenging injustice. So one of history's best heavyweights, the legendary Jack Johnson, was a man who spoke several languages. He was a man who held a United States patent, U.S. patent number 1413121, for a wrench he designed. He's a man who opened the Harlem nightclub that became the Cotton Club. He was a man who took boxing to another level. He was a defensive wizard. He was a counterpuncher. When Muhammad Ali knocked out Sonny Liston in their rematch with what Ali called an anchor punch, he actually claimed to have learned that punch from watching Jack Johnson films. While well, Jack Johnson was wrongly targeted and convicted of transporting a woman across state lines for immoral purposes, right? That was the Mann Act, an act that prosecutors also used to prosecute people like Charlie Chaplin. Let me just point out that in Jack Johnson's case, he was convicted of traveling across state lines with the white woman he was dating at the time, right? They tried an earlier prosecution of him, it failed, right? They then heard that he had traveled across state lines with another white woman. That second attempt to convict him succeeded for the historians listening in. The judge at the trial was Kennesaw Mountain Landis, who would later become the Major League Baseball Commissioner who enforced the color line for decades before Jackie Robinson broke it. Now let's talk about Jack Johnson's personality. I believe one story sums it up best. Jack Johnson once got a speeding ticket for $50, which was big money at the time. Back then, you paid the cop. Johnson gave the cop $100. When the cop asked why, Johnson told him to keep the change because Johnson was gonna be driving the same speed on the way back. So, years after his bogus conviction and public shaming, years after many presidents looked the other way, some heroes stepped forward. Men like United States Senator John McCain, who used to box, at the United States Naval Academy. Men like former United States Senator Harry Reid, himself a former boxer. Sylvester Stallone, not just an actor, and he's one of my favorites, but he's actually the writer, the creator of the Rocky series of movies. Men like Lennox Lewis, citizen of the world, the heavyweight champion in more ways than one can imagine, who fought for Canada in the Olympics, the United Kingdom in the pros, lives in Jamaica, and somehow still has time to fight for justice in the United States. Men like Deontay Wilder, the current heavyweight champion, who's trying to get a fight with Anthony Joshua to unify the heavyweight crown. Well, understand, Wilder wears the crown proudly because while he's looking to fight Anthony Joshua, he has already behind the scenes been fighting for Jack Johnson, right? Another heavyweight champion behind the scenes who's been fighting for Jack Johnson is big George Foreman. 
right, who's been privately lending his support. And of course, there's filmmaker Ken Burns, whose film on Johnson's life is excellent. And last but certainly not least is the current president of the United States, Donald Trump. Like Jack Johnson, he is controversial. Like Jack Johnson, he is a man of action. So let me take this moment to applaud these heroes for doing the right thing. Jack Johnson and the many who fought to clear his name. Let me just say from Richard Dwyer, very heartfelt thank you. And let me also thank the viewers here for stopping by.